this week's Cardiology Countdown, we will begin at the number three spot with a pair of papers on atrial fibrillation risk stratification. One looks at the chads vask risk score uh, to try and evaluate risk in patients with lone AFib, i.e. those without structural heart disease that created or led to the AFib and found that a risk score of zero on the chads vask uh, risk score was associated with a very low risk, just 0.19 uh, strokes per 100 patient years of follow-up. Um, this is now a validated score that could identify those very, very low-risk patients uh, that had about one-fifth the risk of uh, higher risk scores. Now, the other uh, paper looks at the HasBled score, which was developed to predict bleeding, but which the authors found also predicted cardiovascular uh, events and stroke as well as total mortality. And somewhat unfortunately, the risk of both bleeding and thromboembolic events goes up as the risk score uh, goes uh, higher and higher, although a HasBled score of greater than three started to have greater excess risk uh, of bleeding than stroke. Now, at the number two spot is a uh, paper that looks at statins and the risk of sudden cardiac death and ventricular arrhythmias. This was a meta-analysis of 29 different studies uh, involving uh, over 113,000 patients. And they found no difference in the trials of statin versus placebo on the risk of ventricular uh, tachycardia um, or of uh, cardiac arrest, but did find about a 10% lower risk that was significant of sudden cardiac death. And the effect on sudden cardiac death was about half that of our other cardiovascular deaths. And so another insight into the benefit of statins. And at the number one spot is a paper uh, published in circulation that looks at the cost effectiveness of one of the new therapies that we're all applying, that is the um, TAVI, or um, aortic valve uh, stent implantation. And uh, here, uh, David Cohen and colleagues analyzed the partner uh, trial to see those versus medical therapy. It was about a $50,000 cost per life year saved and about 62000 for quality adjusted life year saved that falls into the range uh, of other accepted uh, therapies that we give to our patients. And so a useful balance as this uh, new therapy begins to roll out. So for this week's Cardiology Countdown, I'm Chris Cannon.